The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from every man's nightmare, weighing in at 250 pounds, the man known as Sting. The man who is synonymous with WCW, now here in WWE, the one and only Sting. The iconic one, the man who single-handedly saved WCW. How about all the classic battles with the nature boy, Ric Flair, <laughs> defeating Hollywood Hulk Hogan for the World Heavyweight Championship. You could go on and on. Facing Triple H at WrestleMania. The legend continues. The mythical. Immortal. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, The Undertaker. A chill has befallen the entire arena as the Phenom makes his way toward the ring to continue his quarter century of taking souls and digging holes for WWE superstars. I can't imagine what it must be like to be inside the ring and watch The Undertaker slowly walk toward battle. Saxton gets paid for anything. The vigilante Sting has such a fear-inducing presence, I wouldn't want to be the guy he points that bat at. Yeah, but even without the bat, he can cause some serious Ouch. damage with the Scorpion Death Drop or the Scorpion Death Lock. Boom, what impact! Now he's got him here, he's got a sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Vicious strike. 
Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, shoulder first. I think the ring just shifted. What a stop. Good grief. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, shoulder first. I think the ring just shifted. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. That'll mess up the back of your neck. In the lead-up to WrestleMania 34, we had no evidence of The Undertaker making an appearance. And despite desperate attempts by John Cena to bait him, the dead man remained in the darkness until the very last second. Goodness, that hurt the shoulder. What does Sting have to do at this point to stay in this match? I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need a change in momentum and fast. Recalling WrestleMania 34, Michael, you said The Undertaker waited to the last second for a long... Uh-oh, uh-oh. A long way up. Oh, my God! But he's got to capitalize now. The Undertaker. Is he done? Hold on. No way. this opportunity. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a Falls Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. To destroy your face. I don't know if Sting can take much more of this. He's got to find a way to survive. His outlook is not good at all. He's definitely in trouble, Cole. He might want to rethink his strategy and keep this match in the ring. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. And keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no disqualification also means that anybody can interfere and there's nothing you can do about it. Whoa, the Undertaker dodged that one. We've seen this before. Beautiful technique. Looks like the end of the road for Sting. Sting got the worst end of that stick. Sting possesses a rare combination of athleticism and strength, Corey. How many competitors do you know who can body slam 400... And he got a near fall out of it. What a kick out. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. I want to expand on what I said about Sting's power and athleticism. And note that it's been this way through every stage of his career, which is even more impressive. Absolutely, Michael. Even in 2015, he could break Triple H's sledgehammer with a swing of his back and perform the top row dive to the outside against Seth Rollins. He doesn't just have the strength and agility on his side, he's also got staying power. Oh boy, he is rolling. Looks to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. This might be it! Oh, my! Undertaker starting to look human here. And his hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. Guys, he's really struggling right now. He's going to need to find a way to mount a comeback. Yeah, but the good news is that he still appears to be in better condition than his opposition right now. And there's the mind games of The Undertaker.
What a strike. Nailed it. Oh, what impact. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Wow, I thought he was a goner. There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep, get rid of the self-doubt, and continue on toward victory. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. And a pin attempt. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? It's gonna take more than that. Oh, and he reverses it. Oh, an elbow drop. And this is good! Undertaker kicks out with ease. Not yet. Oh, man. Right point of the elbow. With the damage sustained by Undertaker, he could be on his way out. At this point, his confidence has to be at zero. Boy, with a pile driver. That's what he was looking for, Michael. I think Sting is done playing. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. The Undertaker looking to bury another victim. Uh-oh. Going for the roll. Choke slam. But can he follow up here? Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. My good tombstone pile driver. Looks like the end. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Three. It's the pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, the Undertaker. That's a big win. Although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.